Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, I wanted to share with you the scents that are going to be in the Fall and Winter Catalog for 2016. Um, I'm going to share with you the ones that are returning for Fall and Winter and then the new releases. So, before I do that, though, I wanted to show you something really cool. Because as I'm sniffing, you know, I thought I might have a cup of coffee. Even though it's 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm a night owl, so whatever. Um, but I wanted to share with you this. When I went to Nashville, we got to shop in the Scentsy store. And, um, of course, I bought supplies and everything for the new season. But, I got this for myself. Just because I wanted it and I like coffee you know the same thing on there and it has butterflies on it Angela loves butterflies but I wanted to show you what it did just because it's cool now you can't order this this is consultants only but if you become a consultant you can get one but let me try to show you with what it does without burning myself so I got a fresh cup of coffee here look that's my baby girl Zoe all grown up my precious precious dog if you don't know already all right so let me hurry up and pour this in here I'll do it down here I cannot very well hold it up in the air and do it ah I kind of got it on my leg now let's watch for a second if I don't spill it on my computer it might be. It's hot enough. Maybe. Is it? Yep, there it goes. It is warm enough. Can you see what's happening? It's a magic mug! Is that too cool or what? I had to have it. I love it. And of course, there's butterflies at the top as well. And they will start changing. When you put hot liquid in there, the butterflies change colors. I just had to show you that. Um, I'll show you the rest of it when it's completely done. Um, but yeah, it might be. It's almost there. Too freaking cute, guys. It's almost totally done at the top there. Just a couple more. All right. I just had to show you that, because, and it's curved like a Scentsy bar, or, yeah, that's so cool. All right, so, now that I've showed you my magic mug, let me sit my coffee somewhere here, away from the danger zone of ruining my computer because I need this for my business all right so back to the smelly goods so I have them separated for easier for me to show you easier this bucket has the returning fall and winter scents in it they've already been released in the last catalog they're just coming back. So I'm just going to read those descriptions to you. Not the descriptions. I'm just going to read their names and tell you what is coming back. This bucket here has all the new ones in it for fall and winter. Ones that have never been in the catalog before. So those ones I will read the name and give you the description so let's start with the fall and winter that is returning from the past okay so we have everything nice is coming back we have Honey Pear Cider is coming back. Sorry if you can hear my dog barking. Uh, 
Tom is just getting home from work, so she hears somebody in the driveway. Snowberry is coming back. Pumpkin Marshmallow. Iced Pine. Cashmere Pear. Silver Bells. Woo. Autumn Blaze Maple. That's one of Tom's favorite ones. White Out. Autumn Sunrise. Cider Mill. Frosted White Birch. My favorite fall and winter. My second favorite. My first favorite was Buckleberry. They don't make it anymore. I'm very sad, Sensi. But it's okay. I have this one, Eskimo Kiss. That is my favorite fall and winter scent for the holiday. Very Merry Cranberry. Peppermint Dreams. That's another favorite in our household. It smells like peppermint patties. In case you haven't smelled it before. Uh, winter Pine. Gets upside down. Pumpkin Roll. That's another favorite. Very Snowy Spruce. Autumn Sunset. Sticky Cinnamon Bun. Yum yum. That one smells like you could eat it. Cinnamon Bear. My sister Carla. Your favorite. It's back. I know she stocked up for the summer so she wouldn't run out. But she probably needs more. Christmas Cottage. Cedar Cider, Rum Raisin Cookie, Clove and Cinnamon, Salted Caramel Cupcake, that's a good one, and Cozy Fireside. Those are the ones that are returning from Fall and Winter of last year. Okay. So most of you have smelled them before, so I'm not, that's why I didn't give the description. If you haven't smelled them yet, you need to, because they're awesome. I just lost one on the floor, but that's okay. I'll find it in a minute, in another one. All right, now for the ones that are new for this new catalog coming up. Mm. So, let me, I'll grab one out of the basket and then I'll find the description for you. Okay, so this one is called Whipped Vanilla Pear. Um, Sensi's description is a luxuriant caramel glazed tops, baked pear, and whipped vanilla. Mm, I smell the vanilla in there. But it's, I don't know, it's, they're all good. it smells like you could eat it, of course. That's more of a bakery scent, obviously. So if you like the foodie smells... There's a good one for you to try. Okay, the next one is Coconut Vanilla Orchid. Orchid? Orchid? I never can say that right. It's a purple one. Oh, just so you, in case you didn't see the vanilla pear. It's a yellowish color. Coconut Vanilla Orchid. It's a light purple. 
and oh that's nice i was expecting flowery it's not flowery um it says alluring orange zest coconut milk and silky vanilla orchard if i'm saying that word wrong you can laugh at me i don't know if it's orchid or orchard it's spelled orchid so whatever i think it's orchid doesn't matter you know what i mean oh i wish you could smell that okay i'm gonna try and make this quick without talking so much the next one i'm pulling out is called blackberry orange marmalade mm. and it's a darker purple it's a purple purple and it says orange marmalade and blackberry jam over sugar crystals Hmm, I like it. It's nice. It smells like jelly. Blackberry jelly. That's what it says, but that's really I think what it smells like. Okay. Next. Next on my list is says sweet plum pastry. Another purple 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 and this one says black plum toasted coconut garnish and a, a marshmallow cloud I can I don't really know if I smell the coconut but it's a mixture of the I can smell the plum and marshmallow -y smell so there's that one, sweet plum pastry. The next new one on the list is candied pomegranate. And it's an orangish red color. And, hmm, oh, cinnamon sprinkled pomegranate and candied apple. So if you're an apple cinnamon, kind of person this one this one would be a good choice for you okay next is peppermint rush now I smelled these at Nashville but they were like in an enclosed box with the warmer and you just stuck your little nose in there but I didn't smell the actual wax I smelled it melting warming Whatever. Peppermint Rush. Oh, wow. It's a pinkish red. And oh my goodness. Peppermint. It smells like a candy cane. Yes. And the description for that is peppermint, sweet vanilla, and an accord of freshly fallen snow. I'm going with candy cane on this one. That's what it smells like to me. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. Okay, next one is called Cozy Chai. It's a light whitish, whitish yellow color. And, oh, that smells like, like a, a minty, coffee drink I don't know okay the description is warm spicy cinnamon vanilla bean and caramel yes I keep wanting you to smell it I'm just show I'm just gonna show you the color cuz you know we don't have smell of vision that's good that's a nice one all right next one I grabbed is called marshmallow mint it's a very light, light green color. Oh, marshmallow mint. It smells like those little dinner mints you get on like at the wedding, on the little table of the wedding. That's what it smells like, those little dinner mints. Mm. And the description is buttermint and marshmallow make merry 
beneath an amber veil. Interesting. I like it. Oh, let's see. Oh, that one. That's one we got to save for last. Because I have a story for that one. Okay, this one says wild red berry and sweet melon. It's a red. Reddish color. I'm trying to make this quick, sorry. Melon, red berries, and amber freshen up a classical fruity fragrance. I smell, I smell some, a little bit of cinnamon in there. I don't know. That's just my nose. It smells good. Okay. Um, next is sparkling black plum. And it is a purplish red color. Toast to Taraco Orange. I don't know what Taraco is. Black Plum and Blueberry Champagne. And it's very berry and plummy. So, if you like that scent, that one is for you. I might, I'm probably going to get this one. I'm trying to recreate Buckleberry. If you have ever smelled Buckleberry and you have an idea that would make a good recipe to make Buckleberry again, let me know because I really, really love that scent. And I have two bars of it, but I won't melt them because I don't want to not be able to smell them ever again. Okay, next one on the list is Cranberry Garland. It's very Christmassy. And it smells exactly like what it says. Cranberries and garland. Or garland and cranberries. As Orville said in our reveal video. Either way, that's what it smells like. Piney, cranberry, Christmassy. Okay, next on the list is pink currant and birchwood. Oh, I didn't tell you what cranberry garland said. Sweet tart cranberry grounded by sage and earthy pine cones. All right. Pink currant, currant and birchwood. It's pink. Pink currant jam and frosted holly and fresh and woodsy cassia bark. Cassia. C-A-S-S-I-A. -S -S bark. Hmm. It's a light perfumey scent, not like a headachey one. That would be good to mix with something. I don't know what yet, but yes. All right. Next one is called Crisp Orchard Air. <sighs> that smells like apples elegant quince jam crisp green apple and sandalwood and it's a red lots of reds and purples because it's christmas not really it's just that's just what colors they are okay that one Next, we have Spiced Pear. It's a greenish color. And it smells like pears. And the description says, Simmered pear and plum cider entice rich vanilla wood. That's not bad. It's a fruity. Of course, pears are fruit. Duh. Nice. <laughs> I'm silly. I can't help it. It's just the way I am. Oh, yes, yes, yes. These next two are kind of returning, but they're also new. Let me explain to you what I mean. Toffee Butter Crunch. That smells a lot like butter popcorn. Okay. Toffee Butter Crunch was a 
previous scent of the month. I believe last year... I'm not sure what month. It was August, September, something like that. It was a scent of the month. Now they made it in the catalog. So if you liked it, you can now get it in the catalog. And the description for that is right here. It's salted caramel glaze, candied walnuts, toffee, and vanilla bean. So yes, Toffee Buttered Crunch, it's back. And if you were a part of the brick sale last year, which around the holidays we have a sale for bricks. This is a brick. So if that's what you are wondering what I'm talking about, that's a brick. This is a regular Scentsy Bar. This is a brick. They're huge. Anyways. So, last year, we had this scent in a brick. And it was the best-selling one, so they decided to put it in the catalog. It is apple butter frosting. And that's what it smells like. It says, let this heart heartwarming melody of baked cinnamon spiced apples and decadent vanilla buttercream be the icing that finishes your holiday decor so yes we're excited about that one because we got a brick last year okay i think i have three more um i'm gonna skip to the two new kids scents because the last one I want to save for my little story. Um, we have two new kid scents for their warmers. Of course, you don't have to be a kid to use them. Because I use wild watermelon and it's in the kid section. But it smells good, so I like it. Crazy Coconut. It's blue, like a tealy blue. A new coconut milk mixed fruit and vanilla ice cream. Yum. That's what it says. Yeah. So, yes, you're a coconut fan. We got a new one. Okay, and the other one in the kids' sense is Apple Crush. And it smells like green apple bubblegum. I don't know about the bubblegum, but it smells like green apple. And the scent is a one-two punch of green apple and sweet apple blossom. There you go. Okay. And the very last one that I saved for last is um, if you are following me on Facebook as I was posting things from Nashville. You'll remember that I posted a picture of Tom sniffing a certain scent and he said that was his favorite. Well this is it. It is called chocolate coconut cream. I've been waiting for a chocolate because I love me some chocolate. It is a light like tannish color. And it smells so good. Oh my god, I love this one. The notes are notes of cocoa powder, coconut cream, and caramel. And I'm just telling you right now. Yes. Chocolate people, chocolate fans. This one is awesome. Okay, I could smell it all night and talk about it, but you know what? That was it. Those are the new releases. If you would like to smell any of them in person, book a party with me, and you can sniff them. You can sniff them for an hour. I don't care. Book a party, sniff them, love them, get free stuff. 
amazing, you guys. All right. You have a great day, night, whatever it is for you. And I will talk to you later. Bye.